Guys, welcome to my new game stuff, episode 4. Wow, has it already been a couple of months since the last one? Here again is another huge pile of stuff I've been picking up. Again, I think this is going to be a two-parter. So the first thing I want to start off with is some things that I've been sent. Now this was sent to me from Paul Lendon in the UK. And it is an amazing picture of Strider Hero that he personally painted and sent to me because of my Strider review. I, I was blown away to get this. It's just so well done. And I want to thank you, Paul. Thank you very much for this. Amazing. Next up is a package from Chris Sanderson. And this is just awesome, man. I want to really thank you for this. He sent me the Final Fantasy XII OST soundtrack here. Just fantastic. Thank you very much for this. Really, really nice. And here's something. He just included this. I didn't even know he was going to send it. And it is a copy of Fantasy Star 2 the Korean version and it's actually in English which is really interesting so another one to add to my fantasy star collection thank you very much so I imported a few things this month the first one that I got Fist of the North Star Hakutu Muso on the PS3 now I just got this game I think it was about four days ago and I played the first few levels of the game I love it if I could tell you what this game is like, it's like playing God Hand, which is a great thing. It's kind of like Streets of Rage, but in 3D. And you basically go around beating the crap out of people. That's, that's all you're doing. And you have a lot of moves, though. That's one thing I really like about this game. And it's really bloody. There's a lot of blood and guts. Uh, if anybody doesn't know Hakutu no Ken, go check out the anime or check out the manga series that it was based on. But yeah, I've really been having a lot of fun with this game. It's, it's quite surprising. And you can import it. As I say, you can play it on your PS3. That's because you have no uh, region protection on here. So My next item, I actually got this off eBay. It is the Ease Premium Music CD Box in Felgana by Falcom. This is the soundtrack here, if I can pull all these out. This is the soundtrack to Oath of Felgana and every single other Ease 3 game. So there's quite a few CDs here. Let me just add all these up. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 CDs in this entire set. Really presented nicely. Really, really great stuff. Uh, being such an East fan that I am, and obviously because I just did the East 3 series, I had to have all this music. Next up is Ease on the Famicom. I saw this on eBay, I just had to grab it. I, I saw it and I'm like, wow, you know, the Famicom version of this game. I believe it's only Ease Book 1 on here. And it's interesting, I'm actually looking in the back, and the towns look a little bit different. I, I believe the game is a, probably a, a lot different. So I would love to you know, be able to check this out one day. That's cool, man. That's awesome. Now, I remember in my last New Game Stuff episode that I did, I talked about Dragon Quest IX and when I got it and how I would love to do a preview in the game. Well, I know I'm a little past that now, but I wanted to show you some other cool things that I got with Dragon Quest IX. It's funny, since the time that I bought this stuff, it's actually gone up in price, actually, I've noticed on eBay, so kind of happy about that. The first thing is this Dragon Quest IX casing for your DSi. And this is really cool. If you look on here, it's got the uh, the actual slime characters on top here, so it can dress up your DSi and make it look a little bit better. Oh, this is kind of cool too. Everybody's gonna love this. <laughs> this is actually slime slime headphones. So they're actually slime headphones. I really like that. That's a lot of fun. If any of you guys ever wanted a stylus that looked like a slime, wait no further. Here you go. So yeah, you can really dress up your uh, DS here, your DSi. You can put the casing on it. You can plug your headphones on it, and then you have your sl slime styluses here going on. Pretty cool, pretty styling. What else have we got here? I got a lot of stuff going on. Another game I picked up, uh, I actually got this a couple of weeks ago. I have not put it in, unfortunately, but I'm looking forward to doing it. And that is Half Minute Hero. I have heard so many great things about this game. And people are always telling me, like, I'm such an old school RPG fan, I'm gonna love this game, so I'm gonna try it out rather soon. And another game I picked up for my Wii is Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. And this is a really nice fighting game. It looks really, really good. It's fun. It's a definitely a versus game. It's not like traditional Street Fighter. There's not a lot of strategy to it. I played a lot of this game, but uh, I know Rob really likes this game because it has Mega Man in it, so uh, that's really cool. I, I have played a lot of it. It's not one of my favorite fighting games, but I think it's pretty good. An RPG I've been really looking forward to came out, and that was White Knight Chronicles. Now, a lot of people have asked me, do I like this game? And I gotta say, I, I, I do like it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's a gorgeous looking game. I know there's some shortcomings, like the graphics, uh, there's some graphical glitches. Uh, there's a little bit of 
freezing that happens uh, once in a while. So guys, just to illustrate my point, I was playing the game tonight and it froze on me. This is the frozen game here. And I'm pressing all the buttons here. It's not, it's not a, on pause. It's absolutely hard frozen. I can't even get out of this, so. That's one of the unfortunate things about this game. If you can get past that, there's a really good role-playing game here, and I don't think this game is doing too well out there. I, I don't think it's really gonna catch on. And it's unfortunate because I'm such a level uh, level five fan. I've loved Rogue Galaxy. You know, I love Dragon Quest VIII. I really, you know, I'm a big fan of the company. And I know they're working on the second one. Hopefully they can refine a lot of what they did in White Knight Chronicles in the second one and really, you know, get it up to snuff, per se. And and another thing that I hear is really good with the game that I haven't done, that I really want to do, is play online. I hear the online is really good with this game, so that's one thing I'd like to do. And obviously, because you know I collect strategy guides, I picked up White Knight Chronicles International Edition Brady's Game Strategy Guide. And it's nice, it looks really good, but this is what we come to expect now from Brady Games. Every single strategy guide they ever put out, I, I'm a bit of a fan of, so. Another game that I haven't taken out of the shrink wrap is Lunar Silver Star Harmony on the PSP. This is the limited edition. Now, this was rather hard to get in Canada, so I actually, I ordered it off Amazon. I had it sent to a friend's place in the States in California, and he sent it up to me, so definitely have to thank him. Thank you, Andrew. Now, this is great. I am a fan of Lunar, the Silver Star story, on the Sega CD and on the remake on the PS1. So I'm very, very happy to have this. I will definitely be cracking this uh, out in, in, in the next couple of weeks. I will definitely be playing it. Next up is a game I finished three weeks ago, and that is Mass Effect. 2. Now, wow, I was really impressed with this game. Um, I played the first one, I played probably about five or six hours of it, then I got sidetracked into other games that can happen. But the thing with Mass Effect 2, I put it in and I couldn't put it down. I, I completed it in, in, in a few sittings actually, which was quite crazy. I liked the story, I thought the graphics were really good, I thought they enhanced the shooting elements in the game this time. It played a lot more like Gears of War which I didn't think was a bad thing, so I think it's setting up the third game really well, so can't wait for that. Guys, I thought I was actually finished the episode, but this just arrived, and I wanted to sneak this in just for the very end, because I think it's really, really awesome. It is the one, the only, Terry Bogard's hat from Fatal Fury and from the King of Fighters series. Now, I've always wanted to have this. I think it's just a cool collectible, you know? I'm not a big guy who wears hats anymore, but I still think this is damn awesome. Anyways guys, until next time.